Folks, welcome to um, Kate's Pride Di Pride Month Diary Day 13. Um, change of scenery tonight. Um, crashing at a friend's place for a change. Might make things a bit closer for getting to Elam tomorrow morning. And today I left home with the intention of taking on a couple of um, friendly game, friendly online games, but. Um, they didn't happen, so I had a practice on my own. That's fine. Um, and then I took maybe like a half a walk across along the beach, and then told me just to find that one because I got here. She said Horsall. Got to where her nana used to live. The nana removed, and it went. And she went to a place I'd never even heard of because it's a new, new. New new house that must have been built before I was there. That must have been built in the time I was gone from Christchurch. Um, heroes. Um, trans heroes. Um, one, um, Georgina Byer, she's probably the first trans. Uh, she's probably the first one I'd ever heard of when I'd um, I'd never heard of tran transgender before her um, so uh, get my camera right yeah I'd never heard of transgender before her and I didn't really think about being transgender at the time but her story her story really fascinated me um, that's a local um, to our weightlifter Laurel Hubbard who's doing good things in um, women's weightlifting for us um, now it's up to me to now it's up to me to um, pave the, pave the um, as a woman sports person just um, pave the way in darts um, so she, yeah she kind of got me stuck you know, she, now looking back at her, st looking back at how she's going, it's kind of like making me a bit more inspired. Um, three Jess Jennings over in America. She's um, came out when she was a kid, like a little, like I think she's like four when she told her parents she she was a girl, and now she's in like. The world voice from America, you know, she, you know, stands up for all of us. Um, that's three, four. Natalie Wynn, who I haven't even heard of before I came out. Um, she's um, she's on YouTube with her video. She kind of like um, teaches you how to um, like you stand up for yourself stand up for yourself when it comes to like people that don't accept you um, in terms of like you know, you know people like you know have their um, perceptions on what a woman is and you're pretty much like um, no I'm I'm me and I sure I can't do the stuff that other, like cisgender women can but I'm happy I am who I am um, five 
There was another one. Um, to be fair, a lot of my, um, I might, I consider a lot of my Facebook, uh, quite a few of my transgender friends heroes as well. Um, you know, Julia does a lot for a comedy, um, Tracy helps run, um, a, what is the president of a gender and she's, you know, she's gone through her stuff in the 70s, and 80s and that's kind of, um, what she's been through in the 70s and 80s has kind of made things easier for me, um, me and, uh, and trans, trans women, my generation. Um, I don't think she's that much older, but Jade, um, how she's gone through her um, transition, you know, you look at Jade now, she, you wouldn't think she'd, you wouldn't even think she'd be, been a guy, she's like really beautiful now. Um, gone through all the surgeries and things like that. Um, Natalie Woods, um, she, she's actually, Jade will tell you that she, um, she's an inspiration to Jade as well, um, always has a story to tell, um, and has her own YouTube ten channel to show, to show for it too, um, and you know she's gone through it and she's gone through a lot through her tra transition as well um eli you know this is different this is a this is a trans guy you know eli's a trans guy but um he always he's al always always encouraging to all of us and that is that to me is an inspiration and in how i can Best encourage the youth when I get more, once I hopefully get more involved in that. So, th four celebrities, I guess you could say, and f and five friends. Oh no, the fifth celebrity, Vin Cox. She's um a African American, like I'm trying to stay away from like the colour, so I'll say African American trans woman who's um if you've seen her on her if you've seen her before, she's on she was on Orange is the New Black. Um and she's been very much an advocate for um for tra like speaking up for trans trans rights as well. And then there's just a few um Younger, like a few younger ones as well. Like, um, got Georgie Stone who plays um Mackenzie on Neighbours. If you've seen Neighbours, um, trans girl playing trans girl. Um, every time she comes up, every time she comes up on the screen, whether it's at the beginning of the credit, at the credits, at the like the cast list at the beginning, or actually on the show, like I just gush with them. I just gush with an excitement for what she for what she does for the what she does, and again another one I never heard of before I came out, but I am um, YouTube a few songs of Kim Petras and find and actually love a few of her tracks as well. Um, so that's so that's like thirteen heroes I have. Um, so we're up to like, I guess seven or eight, seven or eight um, sleeps, I guess you could call them, and five friends. Um, you know, they're all inspirational to me in their own way, and um, in and two of my and two of my trans friends, one of them being Julie and the other one being Paula. Um, they're an inspiration of on how you can keep relate how you can keep your relationship alive despite um, despite coming out. And 
in some respects you know I don't have that to share with my wife anymore so now I guess I've got to start again um, you know it's going to take a lot of discussion but we'll soon figure figure something out um, so yeah no it's, um, it's all good anyway I shall see you all to See you all later. Happy, happy Matariki and good night. Um, P.S. I have no Wi-Fi where I am, so it will, I will upload both this and day 14 at the same time tomorrow night. Laters.